So before we get into this video, I want to just tell you guys about something that's going on tonight. Um, I actually did a live stream yesterday on YouTube, and it actually went really well. People were telling me to switch it over to Twitch, so tonight I will be streaming on Twitch most likely. Follow me on Twitter for updates. A link in the description to my Twitch page, and let's get into the video. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video, and we're back with another challenge. So this was actually suggested to us by one of the fans in yesterday's video. Shout out to you, man. It was like the most liked comment, and I was like, since everybody want to see it, let's get it done. So he basically said, as you can see, we try to win. We have to try to win the Summer League Championship. So usually when I make these videos, my goal is to win a championship in a regular season. It's like a rebuild regular season. Once we do that, the video's over, right? That is not this goal. This goal is to win in the Summer League. So to make it hard on myself, I picked the one team, the oldest team in the league, believe it or not, besides the Spurs, of course, the oldest team in the league who really have no up and coming players. They got a couple in Diamond Stone, Brandon Dawson, who I think in real life they just cut, I think, and Bryce Johnson. These are their only three guys that will normally be in like a summer league roster. So what I'm gonna do is I, I gotta make some trades, man. The objective of this is to get younger, get guys that will definitely play in the summer league. So I'm thinking like first year players, second year players, and potentially third year players I think can make it. So this will be, be different. This will definitely be different and a challenge for me. As I really don't know what to expect. So guys like Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, these guys mean nothing to me. Because our goal is not to win a championship in the regular season rather than just doing it in the, the summer. So we're going to trade them. We're going to trade them for guys that I know, or try to trade them for guys I know will be in the um, summer league. Like this will be a good trade, I guess, because I know Justice Winslow is going to be in summer league. Like, this is tough, man. Oh, poor Jing God. Yes, yes, yes. That's probably sure we're going to do. Because we know he's going to be in Summer League for sure. Bradley Beal, I know he's only 23, but he's probably done with his Summer League career. So, yes, I'm passing up on guys like, did I see Damian? Damian Lillard. Passing up on guys like the Greek Freak, Jimmy Butler, Kyrie Irving. All these guys I'm passing up on because we need to get these young cats. But we're trading Brandon Dawson that I don't like because he's another young guy. So, I'll give you guys more space. Is that good? They're not interested. Y'all not interested. Most space is better than that dude. How about I give you Raymond Felton? They're not interested in getting... How about... We don't want... Oh, I guess we have to put Noah because that contract's so huge. All right. I'm going to give you guys somebody that's not our up-and-coming rookie or up-and-coming player that's going to be on our Summer League roster. So, let's see. What can I give you guys? Um, Austin Rivers? Y'all don't want that? How about I throw some second rounders in there? Okay, I'm going to make this trade happen one way or another. All right, to make this trade go down, I kind of switched it around. I put Blake Griffin and CJ Wilcox for Porzingis God and Courtney Lee. So there's that. We still can move Chris Paul. I'm trying to think if this is a good trade. So the first trade we do or we see when we do trade finder is this trade to pick up this first round pick that would be from the 76ers, which sounds good, right? But you think about it, if the 76ers get Chris Paul, their team is probably going to be playoff worthy, honestly. Chris Paul makes that much of a difference. So their pick may not even be worth anything. Now, a trade like this, on the other hand, where we get the Brooklyn pick, because this trade does not affect the Brooklyn whatsoever, maybe that's a good one. So I just got to take some chances, man. Oh, Brandon Ingram. I may actually forget that. Welcome to the team, Brandon Ingram. I'm not going to think twice about that. I know we're giving up a bunch, but again, like I said, those guys mean nothing to me. So DeAndre Jordan. If they're not playing in the summer league, they mean they are worthless. They are worthless 100%. So, continue to try to make this team young. It's like a second video in a row where we get younger. Um, Gary Harris, second year player. I'm guessing he would be in the summer league, right? But I don't want to give Gary DeAndre Jordan for Gary Harris. That just doesn't seem fair. They just stealing from us. But that seems like the only thing, really, man. So, Gary Harris, welcome to the team, I guess. We do get a first rounder for later, which is pretty good. Next year, first rounder from that team. All right, so right now, we got Brandon Ingram, uh, Gary Harris, and Porzingis. So, let's try to make some more moves. Jay Crossover, let's see what we can get for him. All right, we're going to do this trade. Luol Dang in the first rounder from 2018 for the 2016 pick from the 76ers and Nick Stauskas. The way I see it, in 2018, hopefully we'll be done with the challenge. So that pick means really nothing to us. So now we have, we do have the 76ers pick. Who did we just trade? I thought I traded Jamal Crawford. What did I just do? Oh, we traded Luol Dang. Okay, now we can trade uh, Jamal Crawford. 
So basically what I'm doing is stacking up our first round picks for this season so we can have as many bodies on our summer league roster as possible. So we're going to pick up the Pelicans pick right there. Also picked up uh, Solomon Hill, who I like really much, like a lot, really much is what I just said. I like him a lot as a player, but he's not really going to affect our team at all. We got a couple more players to move. Um, again, Jamal Crawford still on the list. Basically, these last couple guys, I want to move them for future first round picks if we can. Um, just because... Well, those picks turn into bodies, and bodies means bodies, basically. <laughs> That's what it means. So, okay. Um, Jamal Crawford's contract is huge, too. But here's a trade that I was thinking about doing until I looked at it. Alan Crabb is making more money than him. All right, so D12, welcome to the team. And I'm just going to trade D12, man. Like, I'm just going to keep flipping until we got as many picks and as many young players as I can. I think Zach Levine will qualify to be in the summer league, right? He's only 21, so welcome to the team, Zach Levine. Ooh, we rhyming and stuff. All right, so this is the team we're rolling with right now. Um, yeah, this is the team we're rolling with. I don't think any other players on our team can turn into a first round. I doubt anybody give a first rounder for Nikola Pekovic or Mo Spades or any guys like that. So we're just going to go simulate to the end of the season, and we'll see what pick we have, and then we'll get into the thing that matters, and that's the Summer League. Kevin Durant wins MVP. Brandon Ingram, our boy, wins Rookie of the Year. He went from L.A. to L.A., and he did his thing. Brandon Knight wins uh, six-man Anthony Davis Defensive Player of the Year. Most approved goes to Nicholas Batum. Coach of the Year goes to Steve Kerr. All right, so this doesn't matter to us. Usually, we'll sit back, you know, analyze the playoffs, but none of this matters, man. We go into the summer league. That's when things go down. You guys know that. So, let's see what we can do, man. Oh, the Bulls made it. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. The Bulls made it to the championship. That's the most laughable thing that ever happened in 2K. Ever. Okay. Oh, and they actually played against the Knicks in the Eastern Conference Finals, which is cool, too. 2K is just getting worse and worse by the day. But we did finish with the record of 25 and 57, which is bad, which is good. <laughs> bad record, good for the team. That's what I meant to say. So let's see what pick we have, man. The 1st, the 4th, the 12th, and the 17th, we just hit the jackpot, boys. We just hit the jackpot. See, I know what I'm doing. I'm the best GM here, man. I'm telling you. We end up getting the first pick. So, let's see. What do we have in our team under contract? What, what guys are going to actually help us next season? So, it would be great to draft a nice point guard. I know they got nice point guards in this draft class. Shooting guard position looks like it's locked down by Zach Levine and Gary Harris for Summer League. Small four looks locked. A nice center will be good, too. Okay. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. We got the first pick in the draft. It's like the first time. No, not really. The first legitimate time we got the first pick. Usually we trade up, but this time we got it through the lottery. So that's great. Clippers, the first pick in the draft. So we're going to go with a point guard. Probably going to go with a guy like Dennis Smith. Probably. Yeah, that seems to be the move. So Dennis Smith, welcome to LA, man. Our new starting point guard for our summer league team right here getting drafted. And that's pretty good, man. You know what I want to do? Let's trade up. Let's trade up to like the second pick in the draft. Can we do that? Can we trade find it and get up to the second or the third pick in the draft? There's a third pick. We can do that. Where's the second? There's the second pick. But they want a future first rounder. So I may just go third. I'm going to go third pick here. There's that, right? And then we got Courtney Lee. What if we trade Courtney Lee and get the second pick? Can we do that? Or can I see? Do I see another young guy that can help the team out? No. So how about this? We'll trade these two picks, right? And then move up to the lot, like higher in the lottery. We're all about making moves to make us better, but I'm not seeing nothing. Okay. All right. We'll just wait till our next pick then. Psych, I fooled you. We're going to make this trade to pick up Chris Dunn. Let's get it. Uh, we did end up trading our first round pick, but we got one in returns. It's two spots lower. So Solomon Hill, big contract. Let's trade him. Like we're getting rid of anybody that's actually not going to help us. I mean that when I say that. If they're not helping us in the summer league, we don't need them. We can move up to the 14th pick. So let's do that. And we're going to pick up, who was that? John Lure to go along with it. And then if we package these two picks, can we turn it into like a number six pick or something? Because that's what I really want. I want to jump up to like number six. So I'll probably manually do that trade, but that's the plan. Okay. Um, I wasn't expecting them to accept that, but we just made another trade. We got the fifth pick. So the third and the fifth pick are ours. We're probably going to go with Harry if he doesn't get picked right here. He got picked right there. So that's it. 
that's not good. Um, but third pick, we'll see who else is there. I know we got it's a lot of nice prospects in this draft, so I'm you know you can't really go wrong. Uh, we make we're probably gonna go Josh Jackson here because I know he gets really good. So let's go to pick prospect. Josh Jackson, welcome to the team. Then we got the fifth pick, and then we're done with the draft, man. We got three of the top five picks, so that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I don't know anybody really after him, though. <laughs> oh, a trade. Brooke Lopez gets traded to the Denver Nuggets for the first round, fourth overall pick, which is pretty cool, I guess. All right, so let's see who they get. They traded up. Who they going to pick? Jason Tatum. All righty. And I want to go big with this pick, so let's see who's left. Don't know much about these guys, really, so um, we're just going to go with the best guy available, and it's this dude out of Germany. Out of Germany? All right, we'll pick up the German player there. What's his overall? 74, not too bad. Okay, sent to the end of the draft because nothing matters because we don't have any more picks. So we're going to go into free agency, right? Is that the next move? And we'll be back. All right, so we probably got a bunch of money to spend, but since those star players in free agency aren't going to help us out, there's no reason for me to go after LeBron. There's no reason for me to go. The Greek Freak, I don't think he's going to. How many years? He's been in the league for like four, five years. Yeah, he's not going to play Summer League. So let me, I'm going to do this. Go by younger, youngest players, and if I can get a guy like this guy, I could probably pick up. He could play Summer League. So that's probably what we're going to do. Let's see who's on our team. We got 15 total players. So guys like Wesley Johnson. Bye bye boy, John Lure. That's a big contract just to get rid of, but bye bye boy. So and then we can go back and sign that one dude that we saw pretty high overall too, just sitting here in free agency. He's already got an offer, so let's beat that offer. What does he have? Four years, twenty three mil. I don't know. Let's do four years. Um, let's just throw him some money, man. We got money to spend. We got money to blow. So let's just give him this. He can't decline that, right? Yeah, he's gonna accept that. We got a bunch of shooter guards, though. But that's it. Okay, that's all we need. They're going to sign players for us, probably. And I don't like that idea because we really don't need them to. But they're going to do it anyway. Who did they sign? Oh, they didn't sign anybody. Okay, we still got a team full of guys under 25 years old, which is great. And we're going to get into the Summer League, yo. We about, This is where it goes. Oh, player progression is important, too. Okay, Chris Dunn got worse. That's stupid. Summer League, here we come, man. We're about to win this championship. I think we can win the championship year one, to be honest with you. We got some young guys that can really ball. So let's build the team manually. We already got a bunch of players. So we need a center, right? We need a center on our team. We got Diamond Stone, but another center will be good. Uh, so we don't have any small four. So let's pick up a center and a small four. Let's pick up um, Jeremy Grant will be great. And then let's go center. Um, who's the best available center? This guy who the Knicks drafted, I'm pretty sure. Can we get another center? But the center center team is kind of low. Really low. And let's pick up um, Jordan Mickey because I like Jordan Mickey. All right. That's it. It's time to go, man. It's time to win the championship. So what team are we again? We are the Clippers. We are the Clippers. What am I talking about? We are the Clippers. Here we go. Game one against the Bulls. Let's sim through it. We won that. Well, let's take a look at the box score here. Can I look at rotation? Can I fix the rotation? I'm serious about Summer League. I don't want everybody getting minutes. To be honest with you, I don't want anybody. Ever. We're here to win a championship. So you know what? Can we do this? Oh, this is okay. We got to manually do this. So this guy, forget you, dude. Actually, we're going to take away all of these minutes. I'm going to do this off camera, kind of balance out the minutes, and I'll be back. All right, this is what we roll it with, man. We got Dennis Smith, Josh Jackson, Jeremy Grant, Porzin God, Diamond Stone, this guy from Germany, Chris Dunn, Bryce Johnson, right? That's Bryce Johnson. Yeah, Bryce Johnson, this dude that we just picked up from Turkey, and then Brandon Dawson in the lineup. So let's go, man. I, I think we can win this championship. I don't think a Summer League Ross is going to be better than this. So game number two was against the Atlanta Hawks, and we beat them. We beat the dust off those dudes. Jeez, they didn't stand a chance. They didn't stand a chance in the world. So, okay, when's our next game? I feel like I'm, I've am i got to carefully go through this so I don't miss anything. Clippers versus Hornets. I sent through that game. We beat them by 50. <clears throat> we beat them by 50 points. This guy was a pretty good pickup. He scored 22 this game. That's pretty good. If we're beating teams like that, I don't know if anybody's ever going to beat us. Okay, we don't have any more games, so I'm going to send to the end of this. 
August 16th. Where are we? We're not in here? This is championship day? What does that even mean? Okay, some current round. Where are we? We're the number one seed. Okay, we got a buy for week number one. So let's simulate that first round. We're going against the Brooklyn Nets. Can we look at their summer league roster? Oh, we can. That's dope. Summer league roster, Brooklyn Nets. Let's see. They got Jason Tatum, right? They got Rondé Hollis Jefferson, Isaiah Whitehead, uh, Karis LeVert. They got a solid team. Simbala. The bowler, Simbala. Oh, I should have traded for Bruno Caboclo. Man, I'm, I'm tripping. All right, we're going to simcast because it's a one-game elimination. Um, Oh, Lord. Don't lose in the first round. Okay, we're not going to lose in the first round. We started off pretty slow there. And then things kind of picked up. This guy from Germany is getting buckets, yo. Shooting pretty efficiently, too. 10 for 16. 10 for 10 for free throw for Porzingis. That's pretty good. All right, round number two is against the Washington Wizards. I see who the Wizards have on their squad. Kelly Oubre, we're better. They got nobody. They got nobody. I'm surprised they made it this far. So some cast it because, you know, one game elimination, man. And yeah, that was that was a breeze. That was a breeze. Look at the box score for this one. This time, Diamond Stone did it and Dustin Smith. I uh, Dustin Smith. Dennis Smith. No, it's Dustin Smith. Oh, we're going against the Philadelphia 76ers. That was the team I knew that was going to give us problems because they have Ben Simmons. They have Joel Embiid. We, they got Dario. They got this guy who they just drafted. I'm not going to try to pronounce this dude's name, but he has a little bit of game. I watched him in the real summer league. Ivan Rab. And this, this is a team that's going to be tough to beat. But you know what? I got faith in our boys. Oh, man. I was supposed to simcast it. Oh, we're supposed to simcast it. I'm such an idiot. We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. And then they go on to win the championship. Okay.